There's been a lot of buzz about a He-Man movie starring Chris Hemsworth, but details are scarce. Is it all just talk, or is this action hero adventure happening? Here's what we know about the live-action He-Man film. For those who aren't familiar, let's dive into what He-Man is all about. He's basically the superhero of the Masters of the Universe franchise, which includes everything from action figures to animated series, comics, and even a feature film. He-Man is known for his insane strength and is usually the alter ego of Prince Adam. Along with his pals, he's on a mission to protect Castle Greyskull, the planet Eternia, and pretty much the whole universe from the villainous Skeletor, his archenemy. Oh, and a fun fact, He-Man also happens to be the twin brother of She-Ra. The whole concept was cooked up by designer Mark Taylor, who brought his childhood drawings to life. Mattel designer Roger Sweet then pitched the idea to Mattel, suggesting the name He-Man and throwing in some cool twist-action waste moves. Sweet presented a few different versions of the character, including a soldier and a spaceman, but the barbarian version ended up sticking. The TV series, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, was a huge hit in the 1980s, boosting toy sales and captivating millions of viewers worldwide. It even spawned a feature film and a spin-off series starring She-Ra, so, yeah, it's safe to say He-Man is kind of a big deal. Considering how Chris Hemsworth has been absolutely killing it lately, it's no surprise that there's talk of him potentially taking on the role of He-Man. We all know him as Thor, right? Plus, he's been in a bunch of other awesome movies like The Avengers, Red Dawn, and Snow White and the Huntsman. But the question is, could he handle being the iconic He-Man as well? Interestingly enough, Dolph Lundgren, who played the original He-Man back in 1987, actually gave his thumbs up for Hemsworth to take on the role in a reboot. But when Hemsworth was asked about it, he seemed a bit hesitant. He basically said that playing He-Man might feel a bit too much like playing Thor all over again. And honestly, he's got a point. They're both these warrior dudes with epic powers and killer costumes. But hey, Hemsworth did mention that he'd be more interested in playing a villain instead, so who knows? Maybe we'll see him as a baddie in the Masters of the Universe reboot instead of He-Man himself. In any case, it sounds like they're still tweaking the script to make it even better, so we'll just have to wait and see how things unfold. But what do you think? Are you disappointed that Hemsworth might not be up for playing He-Man? Let us know in the comments below or hit us up on Instagram. Personally, I'm not quite sure how I feel about a Masters of the Universe reboot. I mean, it's hard to take a hero seriously when they're rocking long hair, underwear, and furry boots, right? But then again, maybe they could give it a modern twist that makes it more relatable and cool. Either way, it's clear that there's a lot of buzz surrounding this reboot, and people are eager to see how it all plays out. With the script getting some final tweaks and casting rumors floating around, it won't be long before we get more updates on what's in store for Masters of the Universe. So, whether Hemsworth ends up donning the iconic He-Man getup or takes on a villainous role, I think it's safe to say that fans of the franchise are in for a wild ride. Let's just hope they do justice to the beloved characters and bring us a Masters of the Universe that's worthy of the name. Speaking of potential He-Man contenders, Sebastian Stan is another name that comes to mind, although he might not be the first one you think of when it comes to superheroes. That spotlight usually shines on his Captain America co-star, Chris Evans. But let's not overlook Stan's contributions to the MCU. As the Winter Soldier, also known as Bucky Barnes, he's been a crucial part of Captain America's journey, appearing in multiple films and even stealing scenes in the Avengers movies. Stan's got the chops and the look to pull off a character like He-Man. With a bit of blonde added to his signature long hair as the Winter Soldier, he could easily rock the updated He-Man aesthetic. Plus, he's no stranger to action and stunts, and his familiar face would be a welcome sight for fans, even if his name isn't as widely recognized as some others. All in all, not a bad choice at all. For Chris Hemsworth's portrayal of He-Man in He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, there are numerous storylines to consider, drawing from various iterations of the character's history. One potential storyline could delve into Prince Adam's transformation into He-Man, exploring his dual identity as the heir to the throne of Eternia and the heroic defender of Castle Greyskull. 
This narrative could explore Adam's struggle to balance his royal responsibilities with his duty as He-Man to protect Eternia from the forces of evil, led by the villainous Skeletor. Another storyline option could focus on He-Man's quest to discover the truth about his origins and unlock the secrets of Castle Greyskull. This journey could involve encounters with powerful allies and dangerous adversaries as He-Man seeks to uncover the mysteries of his past and fulfill his destiny as the chosen protector of Eternia. Additionally, the storyline could incorporate elements from the Filmation cartoon series, including the iconic transformation sequence when Prince Adam becomes He-Man by wielding the Power Sword and invoking the power of Castle Greyskull. This classic moment could serve as a key moment in He-Man's journey, symbolizing his commitment to defending Eternia and standing against the forces of darkness. Overall, there are plenty of rich storylines to explore for Chris Hemsworth's portrayal of He-Man, each offering opportunities to showcase the character's bravery, heroism, and unwavering determination to protect the people of Eternia. In the live-action adaptation of He-Man, there are some fascinating elements to explore, especially concerning Prince Adam's transformation into He-Man and the dynamic characters that surround him. One intriguing aspect is Adam's loyal companion, Cringer, who transforms into the mighty Battle Cat when Adam becomes He-Man. This evolution from timid tiger to fearless warrior adds depth to their relationship and showcases Adam's growth as a hero. Another compelling storyline involves Adam's close friendship with Tila, who is unaware of his dual identity as He-Man, as captain of the guard, Tila is entrusted to protect Adam, seeing him as lazy and cowardly, unaware of his heroic alter ego. This dynamic creates tension and intrigue as Adam struggles to maintain his secret identity. Man-at-Arms, Adam's mentor and closest companion, plays a crucial role in supporting He-Man with his technological innovations and unwavering loyalty. Meanwhile, Castle Greyskull serves as the source of He-Man's powers, housing the enigmatic Sorceress, who grants Adam his transformative abilities. The presence of Skeletor, He-Man's arch-enemy, adds an element of danger and excitement to the story. With his mastery of black magic and cunning intellect, Skeletor poses a formidable threat to He-Man and the people of Eternia. Additionally, the revelation of Adam's twin sister, Princess Adora, who becomes She-Ra Princess of Power, introduces new dimensions to the narrative. Their shared connection to the power of Grayskull and their roles in battling evil further expand the universe of He-Mans and the Masters of the Universe. Overall, the live-action adaptation has the potential to explore these captivating storylines and bring the iconic characters of Eternia to life in thrilling new ways. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. Oh, my God.